Hello everybody, buddy, welcome back to another video by the Actions Fanboy. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial about how to about how to downgrade your iPhone 4 to to iOS 4, iOS 5, or iOS 6 via Geekgrade. Which as you can tell I did on this one, this one just runs iOS 6 already. So I did a tutorial for this back for the iPod Touch 4 a few months ago with the iPod Touch 4 and I said it was for the iPhone 4 and the iPad 1, but in reality, doing it on an iPhone 4 or an iPad 1 is actually a bit of a different procedure. So, yeah, that's a, that's basically all I have to say about that. So, the first thing that you will need to do is you will need to go to your IPSW.me link right here. To the IP. And then you want to take a look at the back of your iPhone 4. Now, if you're, you want to look at the model numbers on the back, if it says A1332 right here, that means that is a, that means if we scroll down here on IPSW.me, well, my computer would, there we go. As you can tell, you will want the iPhone 4 GSM. You, that's what you have. If the model number says A1349 and there's no SIM card, Card, that means that it is the CDMA version and if your model number says and if you have another phone that looks like this but doesn't have those same models numbers you want to go to identify my device right here type in your desired model number in my case it's going to be A1349 and as you can tell, just like that, will be identified. Now, what should come up as, if it's not either one of those, is a iPhone 4 GSM 2012. If it's a, it turns out to be an iPhone 4S, do not do this on an iPhone 4S. It will not work. Because the iPhone 4S relies on a completely different exploit. So now you know what kind of 4, iPhone 4 you have. You will need, you will need a tool called Geekgrade, which... You will need the custom IPSWs for those, which are tethered. And you may have to always boot those up with the computer every time you reboot or it goes flat. Your device goes flat. So as you can tell, if you have the iPhone 4 GSM, just regular GSM, these are the IPSWs you have a choice of. If you have the GSM 2012 model, this is the IPSW you have a choice of. It's just 6.1.3 for that one. And if you have an iPhone 4 with the CDMA version, this is what you have. You get to do either 6.1.3 or 5.1.1. So the next tool that you'll need is called Red Snow. And you just get, well, you will just want the latest version because this is what you'll be using to boot tethered. And depending on which kind of 4 you have, it may be used to also enter Pwn DFU mode. And of course you will need iTunes 10.6 if your system is 64-bit, or 10.6.3 if this, your system is 32-bit. And I would definitely not recommend doing this on your main computer just because you're running exploits and especially on Windows 8 or 10, 10 or 11, you'll probably want to disable all antivirus because Windows will detect the exploits as malware or not and it won't work. And you of course will also need if you have a G, G, just a regular GSM 4, like this one, you will need iRep to enter DFU, Pwn DFU mode. So now we have all that all the way. I've downloaded everything already. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to install an older version of iTunes. So iTunes is probably already going to be on your computer. Pure, so if it isn't, then just follow along because you might still have some old drivers or something. So you'll want to go into your music folder of your file, system, file explorer. Let me just zoom in or I can get closer to it. And you'll want to go to your iTunes folder and then you just want to delete that. Then you'll want to go to your control panel. you want to go to uninstall program. And anything with a publish anything that smells like apples or in reality terms, it just has a publisher of Apple Inc. You want just want to just go ahead and uninstall. As you can tell, just click yes, and it will go ahead and uninstall. 
you might have this issue, you just click OK, and it will eventually uninstall, so I'll go back to you once I've uninstalled everything. Okay, so once you've gotten everything you need installed, you want to go to your iTunes installer, as you can tell, for me it looks like this little box right here in a package icon with the really old iTunes logo. If you want to open that up, run yes. And then you'll just want to click next and go ahead and install it. And yeah, I'll get back to you once iTunes is officially installed. Okay, so now I want to go ahead and enter Pwn DFE mode. So the first step to entering Pwn DFE mode is entering regular DFE mode. So obviously plug your iPhone into your computer. Obviously your four, not your main iPhone. And then you want to hold the half power and home button until your computer, until the screen goes black. And then you want to keep holding the home button until your computer detects it. So here we go. Your phone should be displaying the same stuff on screen as mine is, which is nothing. And if you go on ahead and open up iTunes, it will say it's in recovery mode. It's actually in DFE mode. A way to check if it's in recovery mode or DFE mode is check whether the screen is black. If the screen is black, then that means it's in DFE mode. So now you'll want to go ahead and fix out of that since I checked that. And if you have a regular GSM 4, you'll want to open up iRep and enter DFE mode. Pwn DFE mode that way and just click iPhone 4. It will exploit that way, but because I have a CDMA iPhone 4, I'm going to go and open up Red Snow. I find that Red Snow do doesn't tend to work with firm older firmware that you're likely going to be downgrading to on the GSM 4, which is why I'm doing it on you which is why I'd recommend iRev for the GSM-4. So now you want to go to Extras, Pwn DFU, now we'll exploit with the Rolimarine exploit, which is what's, and as you can tell, just like that, boom, it's going to accept custom IPSWs. So now the next step is to open up iTunes. As you can tell, it will give you this screen. So now you want to press the Shift key at the same time as Restore. Make sure you save the IPSW to your desktop. Then you want to scroll down until you find your Geek Ray IPSW, as you can tell for me it's this. Click open. And then we'll go ahead and begin restoring. So I will get back to you once this is done. Now iTunes will come up with this message and your phone should be on this screen. And don't panic if it comes up on this screen because it is perfectly normal. So obviously do not restore, just X out of iTunes. And now you'll want to go ahead and Open up Red Snow again. Run. Run again if it tells you to do that. And then just like that, there is Red Snow. So you want to go to Extras. Select IPSW. And then you want to scroll down to the official I IPSW. So as you can tell, here's mine. And as you can tell, it will say just boot tethered right now. So now you'll want to enter DFE mode, which is going to be really hard because entering DFE mode from recovery mode is not very friendly oftentimes. So obviously you do the same steps. Hold the power and home button until the screen go, goes black and then keep holding the home button until it checks it. So that's what we're going to do. There's an app. No Apple logo will come up on the screen if it if you're in DFE mode. A few there we go. So now it's just going to go ahead and say exploiting fly marine. And then we'll go ahead and just start doing this stuff. Sometimes it comes up with an error message saying missing key keys.plist data for this build. Don't worry if it comes up with that, just try it again. If it gives you that, it gives me that all the time. And as you can tell, it will come up with this weird little Apple boot logo. A little boot logo, which is a pineapple instead of a regular apple. As you can tell, it says the rest of the process takes place on your device. 
you can go ahead and unplug it and it will go ahead and just do this stuff so let's just hang out here while it does this or actually i'm just gonna go set this thing up and i'll be back to you once this is done now if you were like me you have successfully downgraded your iphone 4 to ios you have successfully downgraded your iPhone 4 to either iOS 4, iOS 5, or iOS 6. So, if you wound up having any problems along the way and weren't able to get out of them via the methods I su showed and I suggest mentioned in the video, please let me know in the comments and I'll try to help you out the best I can. And as always, this was another video from me. If you're curious about more, da if you want more downgrade tutorials or just tech videos in general, Please subscribe to my channel and as always, peace out.